Hi guys, welcome back for part three of my Texas thrift haul. Yes, indeed, part three. I'm hoping to only have two more parts, possibly three. <laughs> you know, yes, I, I really did refrain, guys, but apparently not quite enough. <laughs> but anywho... So, uh, as I said in the first two videos, I have no idea what I spent, no idea where I got it. Well, I can tell you it was a mix of round top flea markets and uh, Goodwills and uh, antique malls. Yeah. Uh, but anywho, let's get into this haul video. This is my third recording for today. And I, I am anxious to get all of this stuff put away. I do have to get all of my um, Halloween decorations taken down and put away. And there's just not enough hours in the day, you know? There's just not. And Binks is sticking his head and Get out. Look it, look it, look it, look it. Excuse me. He makes me laugh. He really does. <laughs> what a character. What a character. Okay, you're probably breaking all of my stuff in there. So, as you saw, I did make it to um, a Goodwill bins while I was there. And I only spent, I know it was less than $3. And let me show you what I got. I did get these three um, picks, floral picks uh, from the bins. And of course, you know, I like to do floral arrangements and assemblages and stuff like that. So these are going to be for a craft project. So... Then I got, let's see, um, these I got at, uh, no, stay out of there, no, OMG, uh, at Round Top, I got this bag of buttons, and I apologize for the lighting, guys, I'm not at my usual kitchen table doing this haul video so bear with me um I also got this really cool tray um I don't know what the heck that is I, this is going to be a craft project as well I am going to do something with this I'm not quite sure what yet but I'm sure it'll be pretty when I'm done it's just metal Uh, I got this little guy. <laughs> He's not squeaking. He's not squeaking anymore. But anyways, I got this little rubber guy, elephant, for my elephant lovers out there. Look at him. Hands on the hips and everything. He said, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm cute. I did get this vintage Christmas pin. It is metal. And I did get a couple of brooches as well. These I got at um at one, the Goodwill, I think. Oh, I hate when this one is a um Actually, no, this is a pendant, not a brooch. And this is a beautiful... Oh, hold on, guys. 
This is a beautiful Christmas pin. So those came from the Goodwill. Um, I did get a couple of books. I got uh, The Night Before Christmas. And this one is from 1975. And this one, is, this is the first Christmas. And this is like, kind of like cloth pages, I guess. Um, copyright MCMLV. MCMLV. So I got that. Um, I also got the little golden book, The Christmas Story. This one is from 1952, no, 1980. 1980. I got The Wizard of Oz. Unfortunately, somebody colored in Tin Man's hat with pen. Uh, it was Deanna Hunter, probably, that did it. <laughs> um, but this book is from 1976. And she luckily did not scribble anywhere else in the book. I also got the little golden book, The Animals on the Farm. Hey! Would you stop? You're like a two-year-old. This one is from 1968. And all the pages are in good condition. There are some little, I don't know, stains on a couple of the pages. Um... And I also got this one, We Help Mommy. And this one is, this is in great shape. This one is from 1959. And this is in really, really good shape. The binding and everything is still tight on it. So that was in great shape. I also got these at the flea market, these um, miniature little uh, utensils. These could be used for craft projects as well. Christy um, found them and showed them to me, and she said, there's a whole bunch more over there. So I grabbed, um, I grabbed a few with the red handles. Um, I got a bunch of books, guys. I got this Ladyhead vase book. I got Flow Blue. Hull Pottery. Costume Jewelry. Occupied Japan. This one, um, I don't, I got to see what the dates are on these. They're in really good condition for the most part. This one is 2001, the Occupied Japan. The costume jewelry is, I can't wait to look at these. Um, I did look through the one book that I got. This one is from 2000, the costume jewelry. Uh, the Hull Pottery. Oh, is from, some of the pages are stuck together. Probably from being outside at the flea market. 1980. Um, I got this one. This is awesome. The 
Florence's Big Book of Salt and Pepper Shakers. This is a great book. I already looked through it. It's awesome. Uh, this one is from 2002. So those are great books right there. Um, I also got myself, I think I got these. I must, I must have got them at the flea market. I got these stamps to use with my polymer clay. Halloween related. Stampin' Up! Jack of all trades. That's what they're called. Then Martha found me this um, ad or Mad Lib game at the Goodwill. So I grabbed that. <laughs> um all right so when we were in this one antique mall i uh saw a bunch of assemblages that were made with the vintage um th the three uh plastic candelabras and with baby shoes so of course you know i'm gonna have to make some so I did buy some baby shoes. These have little bells. I got three pairs of baby shoes. That's that pair. This pair, which is, I got to clean, but they're all going to get painted anyway. They're going to get painted. Oh, that's kind of gross. And then this pair. So those are all going to be for my little Christmas assemblages, the baby shoes. I also got some um, older, on the older side, tinsel, and, or not tinsel, garland. Uh, this is also going to be for my assemblages. I also picked up some red garland and I did get a bunch of uh, ribbons, uh, Christmas ribbons. I got a big roll like that. Got a plaid. I got some vintage gingham. more plaid, and then just some uh, other um, extra pieces, bits, bits and bobs. And these are all going down in my craft room. I did get this cute little vintage Christmas angel. She plugs in. I don't know if she works or not because I haven't tried her. But I will let you know if she works. She's got her little wings back here. I also got this. This is so cool. I love it. Let's see if I could get it out of this bag. This is a clown. Uh, I believe it's a clown cake topper. And you would turn it to whatever age the person is. Isn't that awesome? Uh, this is from 1983. It's made in Hong Kong for Wilton. That is a cool piece. I love that. Um, I did get a vintage um, towel. It's got pretty embroidery on the bottom. Got 
and I got a vintage um, doily. And let's see. Uh, I got a cubist fairy lamp. Actually, I got um, a few of these at that one, the house that we went to. Uh, where the cow was in the driveway. <laughs> yeah. I got this beautiful amber hobnail basket. This is a this is a root beer colored. This is not honey colored. This is root beer. Love this color. Um, I also got. I got a pair of these. The other one is probably in one of those boxes. <laughs> these gorgeous chalkware parrots. So the partner is in a box. All right. I just have a few more things to show you guys. Oh, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Okay. Let me... This stuff has got to go downstairs. Um, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Okay, you're laying on my stuff and you knocked over my head vase. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a heart attack. All right, come on, get off of my stuff. Okay. Um, I don't know how that fell out of there, but it did. Okay. I don't know why I bought these, but I did. Because I was such a fan of the Partridge family. They're paper dolls. So this was the new Chris. And I didn't like him. I liked the original Chris. So that's why I got this one. There's the original Chris. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> yes, so I did buy paper dolls. I think I need my head examined. Uh, okay, and then the last uh, items I'm going to show you are... Um, Vintage repros of the Bystel Halloween die cuts. So we have the cat. And he is jointed. We have the Santa centerpiece with the honeycomb beard. I got a couple of those. Get out of there, please. This is a Santa Claus wind sock from Hallmark. Brand new, new old stock. This is a, uh, a centerpiece. This is what it looks like. You can see that. Hey! What are you doing? Look what he just did. He ripped my bag. Go on! Watch. He'll, he'll crawl in it. Watch. No, nope, he's just walking on it. I got this one. I 
And I got these three uh, or two masks. I don't know why I thought I had more than this. I felt like I had more, but I guess not. I guess not. All right. So that's going to do it for part three, guys. <laughs> OMG. I will be glad to put this camera away for today. Now I got to get stuff put away and try to figure out taking down on my Halloween. I am just not feeling it, guys. <laughs> I am not feeling it. But you know what? It's got to get done, and I'm the one that's got to do it. So, let me get out of here, and I will catch you in my next video. See y'all later.